Well, Liam, what a debut. A clean sheet and a goal on your debut for Stockport County as well at the Cheedland. How did that feel? Yeah, it was a great feeling. Obviously, the um, main thing was obviously the, the win, keep the clean sheet and uh, all the rest of it is a funny old side of football, isn't it, really? Um, so, yeah, obviously delighted to help the lads out to, to get them across the line and, uh, yeah, it's a good start, but it's only a start and, you know, there's a, there's a goal at the end and obviously I'm joining this goal now and obviously hopefully... Put, put my experience and you know the know how I've been in this league etc for the last couple of years and mix with the lads that are already here because they've already welcomed me and uh, they seem a great bunch. It was your contribution as well at the other end that was important in the second half, a great block from Michael Cheek just when he looked like he was going to score and get that level of, they're a decent side. Yeah, tough conditions, tough team, they're up there for a reason, they've had a bit of a indifferent form coming into this new year but um, Still, they're a, they're a threat. They've got some great players, and uh, yeah, it was just a case of uh, game management um, and making sure that obviously we kept the one 0 lead mm. and not not throw it away and, and lose points where you know we really need to be taking you know full points, especially at home. And uh, you know it was great that we could reward the the support that turned up today in the bad weather with, uh, with a great win. The support here um, does it still surprise you even now the, the length of time you've been in the game? It's still a terrific atmosphere here at Edgeley Park, isn't it? No, obviously when I've played obviously against the uh, Stockport for Salford, uh, you come to a fixture like that and you you know you expect to see mm. the atmosphere and the rivalry that they had, and obviously I was aware of that anyway. So to be obviously on on the right side of it this time is fantastic. They gave me a great reception, so it was just nice to reward them back with a an early goal sort of thing and. Uh, no, like I said, it's a great three points for a great bunch of lads. They've worked hard today. Um, and now, obviously, I get to go into training this week for the first time because I've not actually had a session yet. Mm. So work on some of the stuff that, uh, the that Jim does and learn. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, though, I, I know quite a lot of the boys anyway yeah. from previous. And like I said, can't speak any highly of those and they'll probably make it easy for me to, to come into this dressing room. The reaction from the Salford fans have been interesting this week. You were much loved there, quite clearly. You've been a serial promotion winner with them. And... Uh, a big decision, a big wrench to leave the football league and to leave more lane. Yeah, obviously it is. I had real emotional connection to Salford with being a Salford born lad and the journey that we, we was on. Mm. You just wish, you know, it, it could go on longer and it obviously wasn't to be. Um and there's a time where you have to sometimes have a look at personal reasons off the field mm. and things like that that uh, that come into play and um you know, I'm still a very ambitious player. I um, wouldn't regard my age to be, you know, of the elder. Um, but what I have picked up is a lot of experience that mm. I can bring. You know, physically, I'm in, you know, great shape. I'm fit. I've worked hard. I've been playing in the Salford side. Um, and obviously, I've got absolutely nothing negative. Only, you know, really good memories of mm. what what happened at Salford. And uh, the idea is to come here and repeat it. And uh, you know, I'm bringing the same belief that I have as an individual to pass on to the boys in there because there's definitely you know there's definitely quality and there's, there's a definite side in there that can challenge for promotion this season even if it's um, you know a couple of points to, to push into the playoffs I definitely think we can make that up. I mean Edgley Park's a great place to be at any time but just at the moment with Mark Stott the takeover everything's gone on this ambitious plan of the championship in seven years is it something you really buy into? Yeah listen I wouldn't like to compare the two clubs with Salford and Stockport because they have been indifferent and you've been in that position higher up the leagues mm. and uh, the history is, is massive and I can't wait to learn a little bit more about what I've come into because obviously I'm a local lad anyway so I knew what's happened down at Stockport and it's going to be great if we can be the bunch of lads that can uh, you know, get them back in the football league and kick on. Um, so obviously, coming and seeing the support and uh, the ex sort of excitement that surrounds the, yeah. the atmosphere, you know, you know, you should take it in and enjoy it because it seems like it's uh, you know going one way. And like I said, I got sort of the days I view of the flip side of it from you know the the hybrid that we're at at the minute, yeah. going to full time, possible a new training ground, etc. Yeah. So. Yeah, I just think enjoy it while it's happening now because uh, I can see this only going one way. Liam, thanks for your time. No Dream problem. debut. Well done. Thank you very Top much. Man. Thank, Thank you. you.